Hello and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. My name, of course, is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host. And guys, today, today we are shooting something different than usual. Guys, you know, I, I've kind of gotten into a rut. I got into a rut of shooting just long guns. And guys, I I, I prefer a long gun. I like the idea that I can uh, reach out and make sure sure to touch whatever it is I'm shooting at, whether that be a deer or a target. But guys, I uh, decided today to shoot this. This is the AMP Backup. Guys, this is a little 380 pistol. I've had this for a very long time, but uh, guys, this is the first one of these little 380 guns I ever had my hands on. Look at look it over. Nice, beautiful gun. I like this safety on it on it it also has a safety over here easy to flip with one hand now the the clip magazine whatever you want to call it comes out the bottom has this nice uh finger i don't know what you call call this i'm functional not professional it has this nice little kicker here on the bottom to catch your finger and that really makes this short of a handle feel like i can hold on to it i don't feel like this is gonna fly out of my hand whenever i shoot it but this holds five rounds one in the pipe guys let's stop talking let's load and shoot all right guys so i've got things set up i've got my target out there you can see uh it's probably 10 12 yards away i don't know i didn't step it off and i don't have a measuring stick but we have our we have our gun it is loaded let's get it uh-oh we already have a problem it does not want to charge oh no it's got all kinds of troubles guys Uno memento while I try not to get my head blowed off. All right, guys, part two. That appeared to load. Let's see how she does. Didn't cycle. Cycled that time. Didn't shoot. And we're out. Guys. Let's try this one more, more time. Because I don't even see that the pin ever hit. Guys, let's go look at the target. Low. Every time, low. I aim for relatively close to the middle, and this one here is hidden behind that. Low, low, low. You can see where they came through on the back side. This is not a very accurate gun. Granted, it's only like an inch barrel, so uh, what do you want? But I'm gonna move my target a little closer and we're gonna try five more shots. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'll show you the distance. So now we're relatively close. Let's load it back up and try again. All right, guys. Second time around, five yards. Appears like we're working better. It has been a very long time since I shot this gun, so maybe it just needed a chance to everything to get back to knowing each other. But uh, guys, let me double check, make sure nobody's around. Let's l light it up. Let's go see what I did. 
Well, guys, I'm consistently hitting a little low. You can see I've got three there, one way over there, and then one is below the target altogether. Again, not a very accurate gun. But guys, we're still gonna try and blow some stuff up. Speaking of that, let's get it out here to do it. All right, guys, so first thing up, we're gonna shoot these uh, water bottles sitting here. You've already seen what the gun does to me, so that's no fun. I'm gonna leave you out here to see the destruction. Well guys, when I could hit something, works pretty good. But this is probably the most inaccurate gun I have ever shot. <laughs> Cause guys, I know I ain't this bad at shooting a pistol. But whether I am or not, we've still got stuff to shoot. Let's lay down some lead. All right guys, next up, we're gonna try our luck with some uh, onions. And guys, I'm gonna lay these side by side Give myself the best chance at hitting them because uh, there's no accuracy in this gun. <laughs> well, when I hit something, it works. But guys, that five round magazine sure does eat up quick with this semi-automatic gun. But uh, guys, let's get the next target out of here. Well guys, let's see how they like uh, a little bit of cone, a big bunch of knobs. But let's set it in front of these onions and see if we can get extra destruction. if they hit anything. I see a little corn here. Yeah, I must have done some good. Latin, Latin. Hit those two. These are just scared. Guys, we're going to load back up, see if we can get the rest of them. Well, guys, four out of ten is not good. This gun does not shoot worth two cents, in my opinion. But two cents or not, we got one more thing to shoot, and then we'll talk about it. All right, guys, last thing I'm going to shoot is going to be a two-liter. And, of course, we're going to shake the fire out of them because we want them to pop real nice for us. Hopefully, I can hit this big of a target. <laughs> Do I have any more? Well, guys, after much argument, <laughs> I was able to get all of them, but <laughs> it took some doing. But, uh, guys, I'm going to clean up like always. Make sure to clean your ra range before you leave, and we'll get to talking about this gun back at the bench. All right, guys, so we have finished shooting for the day, and, uh, guys, let's, let's talk about this AMP backup. Now, guys... This, once upon a time, was a really nice shooting gun. But, uh, guys, it has set, and uh, you can definitely tell because uh, this th thing was inaccurate, had several light strikes on primers, and uh, and on top of that, that, guys, it didn't feel good in my hand. And you can see, if you look closely, I have a hot spot right there from where, from where I was holding not very good but uh, but guys if you have this in front of you for sale I would not buy this 
This was not not accurate. It was not reliable. It was not not a good gun for us here today. Maybe it has been for other people, and it has been for me in the past. But today, not a good gun. Didn't work very well. But in the meantime, we're going to put it in the collection. We're going to take it home. We're going to clean it up. Up, we're gonna oil it up and see if we can get this gun back in better working order than it was today because uh, today was not a very good showing but in the meantime thank you so very much for watching please like share subscribe comment hit the bell notification subscribe guys we are pushing for a thousand subscribers you could be the very next one today thanks again for watching we'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water